Well, welcome to our boudoir. <laughs> yes, the, 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 the child is out there watching Nickelodeon or Smithalodeon or one of the Lodians. Yeah. And so we're banished to the boudoir, but we're glad to be here and welcome to another edition of Conversations with Carl and Latanya. <laughs> You're so silly. <laughs> okay, so anyway, we pull questions off of our inbox, and I got a really good one from a friend and my phone. There it goes. I want to read this, and this is really not that uncommon. Okay. Uh, I was wondering if Latanya you could cover something in a discussion that you have on YouTube. Have been talking to a couple of friends who are in marriages that are lackluster at best. Their respective spouses are not supportive of their goals. In one case, the spouse is verbally abusive and intimacy has suffered for a long period of time. Mm -hmm. I think each has gone to counseling. Each friend believes in marriage, but are suffering. What say you? Seek to be happy and find that person who will share in your aspirations or stick it out for better or for worse. What say you? Mm -hmm. Well, uh, this happens to be something that I experienced. But the good news or bad news is this is something that virtually I would say every marriage experience is at some point in time and even many fail because they aren't able to come to terms. Right? Yeah. Yeah. So she said, what should they stick it out? Well, I have an opinion that's kind of hardcore and as simple as this. If you get married for better or for worse, for richer, for poorer, for life, and that's the idea. And that's what every idea for marriage should be when you get in. It doesn't change yeah. over years. You know, aspirations. Did they talk about the aspirations before they got married? Did they, was one a doctor or an engineer or a businessman or a millionaire and then decide in year four, I'm going to become, you know, I'm going to fly balloons around the world or something like that. I mean, I just believe that whenever you marry somebody, yeah. it should be for life, but also it's a journey with that other person. And you should never try to change anybody to be what you want them to be. Mm -hmm. But true love allows a person to be free to be who they are. And typically, that should be how it goes. What are your thoughts? Well, of course that should be how it goes. <laughs> but, I mean, okay, basically, you have that whole scenario. People don't show you who they really are sometimes, mm -hmm. you know? So maybe, let's say at the beginning, somebody was just, you know, working this job or whatever just to pay the rent, pay the bills, and I guess have a semblance of security. But I swear, your true heart's desires are going to come up sometime in your life if you haven't been uh, living in your integrity and being who you really are. And sometimes... People change, and and sometimes we, I mean, we grow and we evolve every day. Mm -hmm. We evolve every day. You may change your mind and say, you know what, I've been teaching and doing this for years. I want to do this. I want to mm -hmm. do that. You hopefully have a partner who will stick by you through thick and through thin. Mm -hmm. When the money starts looking funny, are they going to stick by you? And you know, That's when you're going to find out. That's when you're going to find yeah, out. Yeah, and that's kind of what the whole thing about the being married, she's asking, should they, should they stick it out? Of course they should stick it out. If they can honestly have that conversation, you have to honestly talk. If you think, though, that you're going to find something better, I mean, I'm not trying to say you can't find anything better, you know, because God is graceful yeah. and you can see through anything. I mean, I think that I'm a testimony of that, and I, this is not a slam on it. I, look, believe me, it's not. I think it's the grace of God. You know what I'm saying? That I was able yeah, to is. find, yeah, find yeah. Latanya. But I'm just saying to you that it's not about sticking it out. It's about changing your mind. Yeah, because if they're suffering, the thing she said on there that they're suffering. But they're suffering because they're not. They don't have any intimacy in their marriage. And you know, quite frankly, I know what that feels like too. Because, and I listen, brothers, don't slam me for this. But I think in terms of intimacy and marriage, 
I'm not trying to say that women don't have a responsibility there because they do. I think it's largely on us. Okay, so whoever the men are in this situation need to find a way to make their wife feel more beautiful again, to shower her with gifts, compliments, you know, create an atmosphere and environment for her. Yeah, but what, what if it's the man who's being, you know, hit upon, who wants to do things, you know, live his life a certain way and expects her to support him, but he's not getting the support. You can't expect a man to perform under those circumstances. Well, you can't expect me to perform. <laughs> you can't because it's going to be horrible. <laughs> and that's, that's why their intimacy is suffering. Yeah. That is real. That happens. You know what? We never want to see a marriage end. We never want to see a relationship go bad. But it happens. And it stays that way when the two of you are not willing to to work it out. Change your mind. Yeah, if one person is still insisting, mm -hmm. you know, well, I want to do this, I want to do that, and I'm not going to support you because this is what I'm used to, and you know, that, no, that won't work. See, at its core, though, yeah, I agree with that you, Tanya, but at its core, and this is what makes the puzzle for relationships and soul ties between two people so beautiful and so, so spiritual and godly and something that only God could allow to happen is because when you seek the best for that person, you know their heart. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And you seek the best for that person. That's real. Whenever you get in a situation where one is imposing their will on the other person, mm -hmm. without regard for what's in their heart, I don't know if that's really real, mature love. Either side of it. And when you can't reconcile that, she's saying, should they stick it out? Well, if they can't make their mind up, their minds up to have that kind of heart and mind toward the other person, Maybe they shouldn't stick it out. But then on the other side of the coin is if you seek out, stick it out someplace else, the maturity level that you need to, to have godly love in your life is not going to go away because you've gotten rid of that person. You still have to learn if you want to be in a long, lifelong relationship to have the kind of love that I'm talking about. Right? Yeah. Yeah. That's in First Corinthians 13. you you got to do that. You can't cheat that. True love, love that really loves selflessly in this manner, Mm -hmm. cannot be cheated by trading to another person. Yeah, that's, that's all that I'm saying, right? That's true. I mean, you still got to grow up if you, you know, if you end up splitting because of this issue. You still have to find a way to be this before you can find it for yourself. That's what I'm saying. Well, I just believe anything can be worked out. Yeah, I think so. And, but you, you got to change it. So. Right, but they, it won't work. It will not work if they're not both equally willing to do whatever it takes to make the marriage last and work. That's right. If somebody wants their way more than the other person, no, it's, it's as good as done. And the last thing that we'll say about the leaf that makes legs. <laughs> <It's up. laughs> you do. All right. Anyway, the, the last thing I'm going to say is that um, there are marriages who survive this very thing and thrive. It's because both are willing to grow up and change their minds about it. So if you're out there and you're going through this, just know that if you change your mind and love your wife as Christ loved the church, or if the woman loves her husband and respects her husband and honor, honors his heart and sees his heart and remembers why she chose him in the first place, they can get through this. But it's the response to the other person, not that other person changing. It's how you respond to that other person. And you both have to see it that way. That's yeah. all. What do you think? That's true. It's true. That's true. You're true. Oh, you ain't got to agree with me, people. No, no, no. I already said that. <laughs> okay. You got to be willing. You got to be willing. Got to yeah. be willing. Okay. Well, that is this edition of Conversations with Carl and... Uh, um, Latanya. In the boudoir. In the boudoir. In the valley. Somewhere deep in the balls of valley. Of the valley. Did I say balls? Ah! <laughs> <laughs> I didn't mean it like that. We got to go. Be cool. Peace. Two fingers. Out. Did I you say balls? Said I'm balls. I said balls. <laughs> you said that is balls. a balls.
since we've been 